up y'all so welcome back to the channel if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing for weekly automotive mechanical content for the average shade tree mechanic all right so in this video what i really wanted to put out was is my uconnect five inch screen radio that came on my 18 tradesman edition if you're anything like me you know really looking at the radio was was a factor um I definitely wanted the 5 inch screen compared to the Uconnect 3. This one's much more interactive and I'm, I'm definitely glad I got this. If you are new to Tradesman trucks, uh, there's really only two options you can get in a Tradesman edition. And it's the 3 inch or the 5 inch I believe. The Uconnect 3 or the Uconnect uh, 3 with the 5 inch screen. There's an 8.4 inch screen but I believe you will need to get the at least the bighorn edition and up in order to receive that radio so in this video i really just wanted to go through and show you what this radio can do and the capabilities that it has as well um, honestly i think uh, i've had the truck for almost six months now and i finally figured out and looked through my uconnect system to see what it could actually do so i just wanted to share this with y'all uh, to help shed some some light on this radio system, uh, something that I wish I would have seen before buying the truck, but I'm definitely happy that I went with this radio. All right, so first you have the radio, top left. You get a one-year free subscription when you buy from the from the dealership. So I have all those channels, AM, um, here's FM, and then you're back to Sirius Radio. You have four quick, pretty much speed speed settings speed channels that you can go to all right i really i listen more to serious radio to be honest all right so for mine i have channel these four channels and then if i want to go to all here's all my preset channels if i want to go to any other channel um that's not listed on my quick four you have browse and this will just allow you to search by favorites genre game zone uh, traffic and weather features so this is pretty cool you can flip to AM, FM from here. Tune. You can pretty much jump to a channel. Say if I want to go to 85, go. Channel 85. Let's get back on 44. Info, just the info on the song. Favorites. All right, so here are songs. Um, this is the song that's currently playing. All right, so you can actually, and this is pretty cool, you can actually add a song to become a favorite. All right, I don't want to be... I don't want that to be a favorite so let's go ahead and I guess these are the songs that I have saved let's go ahead and delete that one yes open the door because it's pretty hot in here um, game zone so these are all you can add uh, sport channels replay so this is cool if you started a song and it began in the beginning and you want to listen to it again you just press the replay and just press this back button this rewind pretty much it starts it wherever you started the song on the channel audio so here are all the settings this is something I want to spend some time on so the equalizer you can control your bass mid and treble after I installed my dash speakers I play with the the uh, mid and the treble definitely knocked it in and tuned the system for those new dash speakers balance and fade everyone knows what balance and fade does pretty much you can control the amount of Volume that's pushing out from each uh, size of your your car front or back speed adjusted volume so Here's less aggressive three is most aggressive if you want it to actually bump down a whole lot uh, If you if you're playing the radio loud and you come to a stop it'll aggressively turn it lower turn the volume lower by itself loudness improve sound quality at lower volumes on or off auto play this is when USB devices will automatically play media when autoplay is turned on. So if it's connected, it's automatically going to play once your truck gets started up. All right, so now let's go to media. Right now I have my phone connected. It's pretty cool. It shows up what's connected. Here's the Bluetooth signal. This is a song that's currently playing. I can press next or I can use this to go to the next song. I don't even have to use my phone. I can totally operate my phone and which songs I want to play on this screen. All right, so source, here's what's connected. If you had a USB or an iPod connected to your USB, you could actually go back and forth. All right, also the auxiliary. All right, info, just the info on the song. Um, shuffle, repeat, 
devices here's the devices actually saved on my truck audio all right and this is the same that I showed you for the radio and going back all right here shuffle all right so let's move to the phone so if your phone is is uh, set up for Bluetooth on your truck you press your phone and you can actually use this for address book uh, redial for so the last number you called redial it and it calls for you um, recent calls all right here's a number you can dial directly from it and it'll call all right so these are test text messages I really have not dove into what this can do but I'm sure it's really cool and here's settings just with setting, um, just with the amount of uh, phones Bluetooth Bluetooth options you can add on to your truck all right here's a volume knob pretty simple if you press this it goes to mute automatically say if you get a phone call um, and your phone's not connected to Bluetooth and it starts ringing you need to pick it up just press this mute instead of um, turning down the volume and you're good to go and it'll take you back to the volume that you're preset for here's screen off this is pretty cool if you're driving in the night sometimes a little too bright press the screen off and um, it's a little darker for you here's the back button so for whatever reason you need to go back press this and you are good to go um, really this this knob over here is for tune browse or en enter or scroll so all right so moving to the more bottom right so it gives you the outside temperature it also gives it to you on your evic all right here's a clock and this is another setting you can just leave it rear camera you press that um, nothing happens all right so that's the more if you go to settings you have display all right so display mode manual or auto select auto or manual display mode and this is uh, I believe it just populates all right language English Francais Espanol units US or metric all right touchscreen beep if you don't want to hear that touchscreen beep that you've been hearing every, every button that I've pressed just turn that off all right that going to voice voice response length this is the length of the voice system response uh, pretty much the brief uh, narrator that that'll talk to you if you're trying to make a call show command list always and this is what shows up when you before trying to make a call example commands for you to actually say our clock and date set time and set time and format or set date pretty simple you can change that there safety and assistance um, this is pretty cool park view backup active guidelines keep these on I, yeah I want those lines or camera delay so this will allow the backup camera to delay or stay on once you get out of reverse and into drive it'll stay on for up to 10 seconds or 8 miles per hour so I like that I keep that on park sense uh, so this is how close you're getting to things sound and display so I like the sound and the display actually pops up in beneath in your evic in between your speedometer and uh, rpm meter rear park sends volume just the volume that it beeps at when you're getting close to something all right so let's go down lights headlight off delay uh, this is zero seconds amount of time the headlights remain on after the engine is shut off illuminated approach 30 seconds amount of time the lights will stay on after unlocking the car with the key fob lights with wipers Lights automatically turn on when you turn on your wipers, yes. Flashlights with lock, flashes the lights when using the key fob to lock the vehicle doors. Yes, please. Doors and locks. Auto door locks. Automatically locks the doors when the vehicle is in motion. On, yes. Auto unlock on exit. Automatically unlocks doors when exiting the vehicle. Flashlights with lock yes when you lock it horn with lock so sounds the horn when you use the key fob to lock or unlock the vehicle door so the the horn will only sound at your first press uh, or it'll sound on your second press depending on whatever you want flash uh, uh, remote door and lock with the first press of the key fob the driver door or all doors will unlock all so it, it definitely has quite a bit of settings in here that you can actually play with and uh, whatever you want. 
engine um, trailer all right so if you have different trailers you can actually get them added on for settings engine off options headlight off the amount of time the headlights remain on after the engine is shut off engine off power the amount of time power accessories remain on after the engine is shut off all right so more settings compass settings compass variance set to eight allows for adjustment of the compass compass calibration will calibrate the compass um, requires driving vehicle in circle to complete calibration no so I really need to do that so I can use my compass audio here's the same things that I showed you previously phone Bluetooth phones that are actually added and remember and uh, and are saved onto your Bluetooth system Sirius XM setup so if you're trying to renew add that's where you do it if you want to go to default factory settings press that clear personal data you can do that system information pretty much some weird numbers that show up all right so let's go down to trailer break already done that system information so we are done with settings so last one top right compass so remember I haven't calibrated this yet but this will actually be accurate once you start driving I'll show you which direction you're going but it also tells you on your EVIC as well next to the the temperature so that's pretty much it I hope that was a solid quick and concise overview of the Uconnect uh, 5 inch radio system I definitely love it um, the reason why I really wanted to get this system is a little more interactive um, a whole lot better than the Uconnect 3 basic radio but the biggest thing that I wanted was when I would back up and say if I, if I need to to uh, hook up to a hitch um, or a trailer then the reverse actually shows up on the screen see the lines all right so if you did not have this radio and you had the Uconnect 3 uh, basic radio it actually have to pop up on your rear view camera and I believe it only is about two by three uh, inches of a screen and so I just wanted the better view and um, larger screen backing up as well as all the features that this radio offers me all right so if you have any questions please let me know below again if you're not a subscriber to my page please subscribe for more videos like this so until next time, ciao.